of you wouldn't know what this is. I it's don't like know what it is. Peanut. <laughs> a giant peanut? No, yeah. Mike, it's a squash. It's oh. time to dine and dash with May Pike from Home Cuisine. We are cooking a Greek style spaghetti squash. It's a healthy alternative to, I guess, a regular pasta. That's right. Um, now, okay, now we know what it is. What in the world do you do with that giant squash? Well, a lot of people are confused with these. Um, this is spaghetti squash, and it's a whole lot like what it sounds. Um, mm -hmm. Once you open it up, it's, it looks like spaghetti. Um, so <clears throat> we use this with our paleo meal plan, where mm -hmm. people don't eat any wheat. Um, and people are really becoming uh, aware of their allergies, so something to avoid meat but still be able to eat the things that you like is great. And that's exactly what we have here. And it tastes just like pasta. I've never tried it. I'm, I'm interested to try it. It doesn't taste just are, like pasta. That's but what my it's friends good, tell me. Yeah. Well, today's your lucky day, Sterling. You get to try it. All right. So um, I think the first thing that people, um, people get really intimidated by this. And I think mm -hmm. the first problem is they don't understand how to cook it. It's really, really tricky to skin these and um, and cut them up if you do it when they're raw. All right. I Show bake us how. them. So what I did was I puncture it a little bit and bake it, uh, 375 for about 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then if you've done one of these before, you know that it. I mean, you really have to wrestle these guys to the ground. But because it's already baked, we just open it up. It's fairly soft. Okay. Yeah. So then we've got these seeds in the middle, mm -hmm. and they got a little lopsided. So you just want to take the seeds out. Um, and while we're doing this, why don't we get going on this okay. pasta? Looks like so the inside of a pumpkin. It, it's a whole lot like the inside of the pumpkin. Um, okay, so we have a little bit of fresh garlic there, and then let's throw in these fresh tomatoes and all, let those cook a little bit. All the tomatoes? All of them. Okay. Um, and we'll just let those go while we're talking about the squash. Okay. I'll so, work on this and keep an eye on this while okay. we work on our squash. Good job. So you take these seeds out. It was a little bit easier when I was doing this. But at the kitchen. Um, of course, that's of how course, it always works. That's the way it always is. So you pull these guys out mm -hmm. and get all the seeds out, and then you just scrape this that looks just like spaghetti. Sure does. Yeah, from the from the um, shell. And the shell stays pretty, pretty um, hard. Yeah, so you can still get it out. So you want to just spin that a little bit. Okay. I let those tomatoes cook down just a little bit. If you want it like a marinara, cook and let them cook down for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and then you throw your spaghetti squash in. Okay. And spin that a little bit. What other ingredients do we have? Let's and then put them in our pot here. Okay. Kalamata olives. All right. And then you just let that cook for a little while. Mm -hmm. And then you want to top it with, we did some feta and some fresh basil. Mm -hmm. Which are my two favorites, but you know, if you wanted to use goat cheese and cilantro, whatever, whatever you got. Much healthier yeah. than regular pasta. So much healthier than regular pasta. There's no wheat, mm -hmm. so our celiacs or anybody who, and, and it's a lot, a lot lower in calories too. How much does that cost? Eh, about five bucks. Five bucks. Yeah. Okay. It's it, relatively speaking, it's cheap. Pretty but we're cheap. also trying to cut our calories. That's right. And it's uh, not too bad when you're trying to do that. May Pike <laughs> from Home Cuisine. Thank you very much. And uh, we look forward to giving this a run and trying it.